Let's do a VTOL. Hello and welcome dear scale modelers to my small hobby YouTube channel. My name is Tomo and today we're going to be looking at an Airfix kit. Here it is. Isn't this a beauty? Red shiny box. A 170 second scale Sea Harrier from Airfix. Okie dokie. So this particular kit was released in 2011. And I think this is the one that was released in 2011. This one, I think, is a new or re-release, or at least the box art has changed somehow. So why am I doing an Airfix review? Because Airfix here in Slovenia is really not that common. So, you know, having something like this is really neat for us Slovenes. And this particular kit, the Harrier, is also something fairly different. You don't really see a lot of this type of aircraft. So, you know, it's kind of interesting for me to, you know, see it how it is. Uh, so a little information on the kit and um, the kit was released like i said in 2011 it has around 116 parts and the length of the fuselage is 197 millimeters so pretty nice and decent um aircraft so like always i'll give you the information on the aircraft and then we'll take a look inside the box first flown in 1978 the sea harrier frs1 was navalized development of the ref harrier g3 the major differences being revised radar nose, revised flight cockpit and canopy. The FRS-1 entered service with the Royal Navy's Fleet Air Arm in 1980 and its capabilities were fully tested in the South Atlantic in 1982. The lessons of the conflict led to various proposals for the future development and deployment of the Sea Harrier, the most important being the midlife update program for the proposed FRS-2. The main improvements were the fitting of the much-enhanced Blue Vixen Pulse Doppler multi-mode radar with its look-down, shoot-down capabilities and the use of AMRAAM or Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile. These modifications required the fitting of a new nose radome and a 14-inch or 355mm extension to the rear fuselage just aft of the main wing for the new avionics bay. The first aircraft entered service in 1993 and it was about this time that the design was changed to FA-2. Some 30 of the existing FRS-1 fleet were converted to FA-2 standard and a further 80 new built aircraft were delivered by the BA to the Royal Navy. The Sea Harriers provided the Royal Navy with its first class air cover until the aircraft was withdrawn from service in 2006. The aircraft was powered by a Rolls-Royce Pegasus Mark 106 turbofan engine rated at 21,000 pounds or 9,525 kilograms of thrust, giving it a maximum speed of 825 miles per hour or 1,328 kilometers per hour at high altitude. The length of the aircraft was 46.5 feet or 14.70 meters and the wingspan of the aircraft was 25.25 feet or 7.7 .7 meters. Okie dokie, so let's open this baby up. It is a nice box, as you see. On the back there's nothing and you've got the seals. So let's open it up and see what's what. Okie dokie. So everything is a nice, in nice big one bag. Um, we'll take a look at this. And the screws are, boom, and there's a clear part. Nice little canopy. We'll take a look at that. Take a look, take a look at that little. Uh, it looks fantastic, to be honest. Uh, I've heard some other YouTubers that have more experience with Airfix that the Airfix kits tend to have very pronounced panel lines and rightly so, this one has a lot of panel lines. Whether or not these are um, accurate to the scale, probably not all of them, um, but I don't really care to be honest because it, it just gets, it, it has a good feel um, when you have certain features on the plane that you can see even in this small scale. and. 197 millimeters it's the fuselage is not that small so the plane is pretty nice and big 
as far as the details are concerned, very nice details, like I said, panel lines, rockets, um, no flashing, like I always say in my videos. <laughs> I like the I like this word flashing. So yes, the perfect sprue. You will see the detailed version of this, every sprue that I handle in this bottom corner. And this second sprue contains mainly the arsenal landing gear and some flaps and some engine parts, like very nice. Well, the engine part, I must say this one is a little bit, um, well, oh, it's the other way around, oh, doofus. Okay, so this is the, the front that's showing. So that's, yeah, looking at from the back side, I was like, oh no, but yeah, this one, this is from the front. So yeah, the propeller, the blades are nice and crisp. The landing gear, you have the option to see, you know, the the plane on the ground. So the rubber tire is like depressed. It has a firm deformation as, as it would be if the flame would sit on the ground. Then you have the cockpit uh, things, instruments, uh, and the seat. This is a little small cockpit, I guess. Fairings, very beautifully done. Okay, the last quick sprue is, oh, we have a pilot, look at this. And the pilot, to be honest, is pretty nicely molded. You can see a lot of the details on his jacket, light vest, his mid goggles, yeah. He has nice goggles. It looks like a second world war pilot. It probably is because this is like a kind of generic pilot. But <laughs> okay. Um, nothing too crazy about it. I mean, the, the point is the plane, not the pilot. And I probably you're gonna be, you know, closing the canopy anyway so getting sidetracked okay these are our little side wheel uh, wheels that go on the wings and i think you can put them like in a up position or down position which is also very nice yeah because the tire is depressed great uh the wings again and the ailerons pretty nice molds no flashes nothing very beautiful plastic it's like very crisp sharp well done i think this is a really nice kit the last sprue is the clear part sprue, which is this canopy. Let me just quickly open this up. Slice and dice. It's a bit wonky. It, it's, <laughs> it's a bit wonky. Okay, this one clearly is not going to disperse. But okay, the canopy is fairly clear. Yeah, it's a little... Mm, yeah, it's, it's clear. I thought that I saw some sort of markings on it but no it's pretty clear it's just some dust very crystal crystal clear and yeah it's just a regular canopy it has a little indentation here that i think it's for a plane maybe it's like a it's intended to be this way i don't know hopefully it is um but yeah that's basically it the whole plane in its entirety we have to still look at the manual and the markings so, you know, basic details about the plane uh, on the front. Here's some, you know, safety and how to do how to manual. Here you can see the assembly process. We're very nicely done. Wings, fuselage, fairings, you know, cockpit. And then you have the option to put in the landing gear either up or down, which is again, beautiful customization for this thing. And you have some sort of wheels. I'm oh, no, sorry, <laughs> missiles, not wheels, how they're painted how they're assembled, the mounting points for them. Yeah, so this is the two paint. And here are the two paint schemes. So this one is a regular Sea Harrier, I guess, the, you know, just gray Sea Harrier. And this one is the Royal Admiral, the Admiral Barge, the blue one. It's, here are the beautiful, beautiful decals. Um, very sharply printed, you can yeah, you can basically read all the small details on them. They're nicely done. The cockpits in this area, so you have the Admiral and the basic one, and so many decals. Oh, this is, decals are like the icing on the cake, I guess, and they do make an aircraft alive, in my opinion, 
but so many of them is like oh no but okay it's part of the hobby and it's fun so yes beautifully nicely detailed decals as you can see in my left right left left bottom corner you're right Ugh, i'm getting confused no wonder no wonder okay that's basically it. I'll show you some uh, still photographs of the whole thing and then we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video it's a simple and easy build I think um, if you want to do this in a weekend you can surely do this uh, if you want to be like more professional I think it would take you a week to make it all really pop out and stand out but otherwise it's pretty okay so if you have just stumbled across this channel take a look around maybe subscribing if you like the content if you are already subscribed to me thank you so much I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon bye bye